Welcome back, legends, to Bud Fellas. Today, we're diving into one of the most exciting parts of cannabis, those frosty, ice-white buds. We're going to explain how buds get frosty, what affects their size, and techniques that can help your plants look healthy and covered in trichomes. Remember, this is educational and fully compliant with UK law. Trichomes are the tiny, crystal-like glands on buds that produce cannabinoids and terpenes. There are three types. Bulbous, tiny, barely visible, capitate sessile, small but noticeable. Capitate stalked, large, stalked and responsible for frosty appearance. Capitate stalked trichomes give buds their icy look and contain most of the cannabinoids. Genetics determines how frosty buds can get. Indica strains often produce denser buds, while sativa strains can be taller with lighter frost. Breeders select strains for high resin production to get frostier flowers. Beginners should research strains known for heavy trichome production. Lighting affects trichome development. Blue light helps during vegetative growth, red light during flowering. UV light can increase trichome production as the plant protects itself. Proper light intensity is crucial for healthy, frosty buds. Macronutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium are essential for bud size and resin. Micronutrients like calcium, magnesium and sulphur support overall health. Feeding schedules during flowering optimise frost and bud density. Temperature. Slightly cooler nights boost trichome production. Humidity. Ideal RH during flowering is 40-50% for frostiness. Airflow and CO2. Proper airflow reduces mould and CO2 enrichment can enhance growth. Controlled stress can increase trichome production. Low stress training, LST, topping and slight light stress encourage the plant to protect itself with more trichomes. Avoid overstressing to prevent damage. Trichome monitoring is key. Clear trichomes are immature, cloudy trichomes are at peak, and amber indicates slightly matured cannabinoids. Harvest when most trichomes are cloudy with some amber for maximum frost and potency. Use a magnifying glass or microscope for accuracy. Recap. Genetics, light, nutrients, environment, stress techniques, and harvest timing all influence bud frostiness. Understanding these factors helps appreciate cannabis growth safely. Remember, this is educational. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more Budfellas tips.